as Filipinos races, as racism in the Philippines. A lot of times I've been asked. <laughs> Please welcome back again to my channel if it is your first time of coming across my channel you are most definitely welcome my name is Ruth final year student nurse currently living and studying here in the Philippines and to you are most highly welcome to nurse Ruth Nook and please if you are yet to subscribe to this channel please do well to hit the red subscribe button remember to turn on your post notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will always be notified for my old subscribers you guys are the main g thank you so much for always clicking in i appreciate you all so much so today's video from the title i'm going to be telling you what i think about racism in the philippines a lot of times i've been asked by people both people back home if philippines is a racist country are filipinos racist the racism in philippines how will you rate it and stuff like that so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you my personal opinion what i think about racism in the philippines so if it is what you are interested in finding out please you need to keep on watching Welcome back lovelies. Like I said in the intro, today's video is all about chit-chatting about the racism level in the Philippines. What I personally think about racism in the Philippines. First off, I would like to say that if you are considering coming to the Philippines for studies or for anything, Philippines is a very lovely place. The people of the Philippines are lovely and homely. But that does not rule out that there are still some people who may not be happy with you as a foreigner, especially because of your skin color. I would like to say that majority, or let me say, I would like to say that most Filipinos don't even understand what racism means. But that does not mean that there is no racism in the Philippines. For example, when I first came to this country, I noticed that a lot of Filipinos stare a lot. They stare a lot. If you are walking along the street, you are in the school, and they stare a lot. This is culture difference. In some cultures, staring at someone consistently, that person may feel embarrassed. That person may feel, this person staring at me like, what is the problem? Am I in? in a safe place or something like that why in some cultures staring is a sign of like maybe you are discriminating them knowing fully well that they are not from your country so you stare at them as you are staring at them they feel embarrassed they feel maybe you are trying to discriminate them from yourself which is which they tag as racism but for the filipinos staring to them does not mean racism when they stare at you, it is because they are seeing a foreigner. They know that you are a foreigner from your skin color or the way you look or even when you talk. They stare out of curiosity. They want to know who you are. They want to know where you are from, the country you are from, and what you are doing in their country. Majority of the Filipinos and Filipinas, when they stare, they mean no harm. Even though for foreigners, it gives some discomfort when someone consistently stares at you. For them, they, they are just doing it out of curiosity. So this is just like, let me say, cultural difference. And one thing with them, and for most of them anyway, as they are staring, if you smile with them or you say hello, they will respond to you immediately. That means this person has spoken to us. Then from there, they will just open a conversation. How are you? What are you doing here? They want to speak to you just to interact and get to know you. But if they are staring and maybe you don't talk, that's when you will not really know the motive behind their staring at you. So for the racism in this country, I would like to rate it this way. It is not like racism is not in Philippines. It is in Philippines, but... It is not something of a big deal because you cannot get everybody to love you or like you. 
Even in my own country, for example, they don't call it racism in my country, but within us, like within citizens in my country, there is this language we coin it into, which is tribalism. Meaning, if you are from this state, someone from this state may not really see you as someone he or she can rapport with, he or she can flow with, because you are not from the same state. I am talking back home, like from where I am coming from. If you are from the east and you want to seek for admission in the south or in the west, for example, you may not get that admission because you are not from the same state with them. That is where you will now have them saying tribalism. You are from this state. I'm from this state, so we cannot mingle. You are looking for a job. You may not get it. You may not get it because you are not from the same state with this person. Someone from this state, you flow more. This is my own person because we are from the same state. We are from the same place. So they, they practice tribalism even back home in my country, meaning you cannot get everybody to like you. You cannot get everybody to love you. Talk more of a country that you are, which is not your own country. This is a foreign country. You can't get everybody to love you. You can't get everybody to like you. Yeah, it's like that. In my own home country, like I said, you can't get everybody. You cannot mingle with some people. Don't even mingle with you. If you are from this state, I'm from this state. They see it like you are not my brother. You are not my sister. You cannot get this job. You cannot get this admission because you are from the East. You have to go back to the East to look for what you are looking for. Why the one from the West is okay. Let's go to the West. So that tribalism is there back home, just as you have racism in different countries. I would like to say that racism is not just only being practiced in the Philippines. You go to America, other European countries, they have racism there. But for Philippines, I would like to rate it this way. It is not, you cannot completely rule out racism in the Philippines. But that does not mean that it is something noticeable. It is not really something that is noticeable in the Philippines. Let me just rate racism in the Philippines like this so that you can judge for yourself. In every 100 persons or 100 Filipinos or Filipinas, you have one racist. So for other 99, they are friendly, they are open-minded. You cannot just use because of one person out of 99 to generalize that there is much racism in the Philippines. The racism in the Philippines is not much because the people are very open and friendly, like I have always mentioned. But out of every 100 pinos or pinas you have in the Philippines, there is always one person who may be acting weird that we may call a racist. You understand? So racism in the Philippines is not something that one will feel so bad about it. Because you may go out in a day and don't even see any. Because you have more of people that are open-minded than those weird ones who classify as racist. Like I mentioned already, you cannot just get everyone to love you. You cannot just get every... Let's be realistic with ourselves. You cannot get everybody to love you. You cannot get everybody to flow and mingle with you. You cannot just get everyone to be with you. So for one person out of 99, you can leave that person and focus on the 99 that is willing to make friends with you. But you yourself should work on being free with them, chit-chatting with them if they open conversation. Just feel free with them because they are peaceful. They mean no harm to you. So, so for those who have been asking me about racism in the Philippines, this is my own point and opinion. You cannot completely rule out racism in the Philippines. At the same time, it is not something you should bother your head about because it is not much. It is just a minute case. It is not something that is much. And also, sometimes we call it racism because of the, like I already mentioned, because of difference in culture. What this culture may see as being offensive, as being rude and acting weird, the other culture may see it as something okay, something normal, and no problem. This racism of a thing also happened as a result of individual culture and individual practices. 
But if you are watching me and you know within you, you find it difficult to associate with foreigners or you think that foreigners, they are, maybe you just generalize that every foreigner smells or every foreigner, the color as far as you are black, maybe being a black means maybe this person is smelling or maybe you don't like associating with foreigner for one reason or another. You can, you just work on yourself, but at the same time, nobody is going to force you to accept what you don't want to accept. So there is no need for even anything like racism, even back home, there shouldn't be anything like tribalism because we all are created by one God. We are all created by God, one God created in his own image and likeness. He gave us, even though some persons are black, some are fair, even in the fairness, some are fairer, why some are brown, that does not mean that if you are black, you have black blood. That does not mean that if you are fair, that means you have fair blood. Or if you are brown, you have brown blood. We all have the same blood flowing in our veins. We have the same red blood flowing in our veins that passes through the same process. The, the distribution of the blood in the body is still the same process in the one that is black, the one that is brown, and the one that is fair. And above all, we are created by one God. So if you are among those that maybe feel somehow when you see a foreigner around you, learn to feel free with them because we all are one. Despite the color, despite the race, despite the tribe, we all are one. We are created by one God and we have the same blood flowing in our veins, the same color. If you are in the hospital, maybe if someone is in the hospital and for example, you are a white person, you need blood transfusion. You don't know where that blood is coming from. If it was from a black or brown person, you do not care. You don't ask, this blood is from who? No, all you need is blood transfusion at that moment for you to be alive. That blood may be coming from the person you don't like because of the skin color. As far as that blood has the same, you don't ask to know where the blood is coming from. If it is coming from a black person that you will rather die than the blood being transfused to you. Or if the blood is coming from a white person, you will not take it because you are black. No, it does not really matter at that point. That is to tell you. Apart from this coverage that we are seeing, the skin coverage, some are brown, some are black, some are white, we all are one. We have the same blood flowing in our veins. And like I said, above all, we are created by one God, created in his own image and likeness. So we all are one. Let's stop everything about maybe racism or tribalism. So guys, in summary, like I said already, in the Philippines, racism is nothing that one should be worried about. If you are a foreigner, you want to come to the Philippines, don't worry about um, racism in the Philippines because it is not something that should bother you. It is not something that is too much. It is not really much. It is not even noticeable that you will be bothered about it. You have more of the good people. You have a lot of those that are peaceful, a lot of them that are ready to mingle with you. If you yourself will open up your heart and know that they are friendly, you understand? So I hope this video helps someone and I hope this video has answered a lot of persons asking me about racism, what I think about racism in the Philippines, my own opinion. I have given now my own opinion, what I think about racism in the Philippines. You don't have to bother your head about racism in the Philippines. That being said, lovelies, I have come to the end of today's video. And as usual, if you are yet to subscribe to my channel and you have watched up until now, please do well to hit the red subscribe button now. And remember to please turn on your post notification bell so that anytime I upload a new video, you will always be there to click and watch. I appreciate you so much. Do well to share this video with your friends and family. Share on your social media platform. I will really appreciate that. Until I come your way next time, guys. Please stay safe and remain blessed. I love you all. Bye.